All right, Slackmaster fans, it's Emmanuel Monday on a Tuesday. Emmanuel on Taboo Island, another re-review. Let's check it out. So this is Daniel. He's a heroin addict. He stole a boat. And now he's stranded in the ocean. Well, after drifting for a while, he discovers an island. It's a ways out, but he's gonna make it there. Eventually he arrives and he moves into survival mode. Apparently he brought a needle with him. A little bit of heroin left, maybe? Nope. Mirage. Well, he spells out SOS. He does a little more exploring, and he finds Laura Gemser. Hell of a find. That's Haiti and her brother Juan. <laughs> they speak perfect English, by the way. I've never heard such marvelous sounds. <laughs> I wasn't sure you'd know what I was saying. Why shouldn't we know? I guess I felt like I don't know. He also meets Antonio. I'll tell you when you can go home. Haiti and Juan's father. He's a wanted criminal. And second, stick to your beach. And they've been hiding here and stay away from me. to avoid the authorities, or he's been hiding there. It actually takes almost a half hour before Laura Gimser takes her clothes off. But once they're off, they're off pretty much the rest of the film. Eventually, some other people enter the island. I managed to escape this island. Yeah, you, you know what people say. It was basically the story he was telling. Well, eventually they warm up to Daniel, and uh, they all seem to be getting along nicely. Well, Juan and his sister seem to have a very close relationship with each other, almost like they're in love. Can't show you much because she's topless. Daniel catches them making out. It's a game we play. But you're her brother. You shouldn't do it with her. Why not? Well, I guess she tires of her brother pretty quickly, and then uh, she and Danielle start to make it. Antonio's worried that he's going to tell him where, tell people where he is. I know how it is. You get used to a place, then you have to leave. Well, for the time being, it's fine. But on the other hand, if I do let you go, then you're going to tell people where I am. And my word means nothing? No. <laughs> Not even if I saw you kissing the cross on your mother's grave. Later on, he's out in the water and a boat comes by. Hey! Give me a hand. Now it looks like he might find a way off this island. The guy leaves, but perhaps he'll be back later and leave with him. 
We saw that you didn't leave. We were watching you from there, from the rocks. You were the one who said The fisherman will be back in a month. And one month ought to be enough for your salvation. Must it? I would take this as a threat. For the first time, I can feel the joy I felt when I was a boy. But he doesn't get killed. Instead, he gets to frog with Haiti. So, you were playing the game with that day, weren't you? The so, game. Sleeping with. Wasn't it good? What happened? Didn't you like it? Stop it. What? Antonio decides that Juan should kill Daniel. Listen, I don't like the way Heidi's spending day and night with that bastard. Now go get her. Anyhow, what do you care? I said go! Let's wait till Since she's gotten a taste of Daniel, she no longer wants to sleep with her brother. Dad is whipping Haiti. Antonio decides to finish off Daniel himself then, since Juan can't do it. But he doesn't kill him. He does beat him up though. But he gets away. Juan fails at killing him. Then Antonio shows up. He chases Daniel up the mountainside. And it looks like this is the end for him. But wait. He misses and then trips and falls. They create a funeral pyre for dear old dad. Daniel decides to leave. Will Haiti go with him? Maybe we'll go with you. Because it's better. It looks what? that way. Coming into the sea of the air. To your child's eyes. Basically, if I take you back, little by little your smile will die. Daniel says no. The last smile in the world. I can't do that. Daniel leaves. Haiti returns to Juan, her brother, and they probably will make deformed mutant babies the rest of their lives. All right, let's talk about Emmanuel on Taboo Island. It's not really an Emmanuel movie, even though it stars Laura Gemser. Uh, the original title was like Beach of Desire. That's the Americanized title of it. Um, I think the actual title is either Spanish or Italian or something. I don't know. Uh, according to IMDb, this was an Italian slash Venezuelan movie. So whatever. I don't know where it was filmed, uh, but it could have been Venezuela, a tropical area. Who knows? But anyway, the movie stars uh, Laura Gemser. This guy named... Uh, Shit, I forgot his name already. Daniel. Daniel was his name. Um, he's like a heroin addict, and uh, he has uh, some issues. Uh, girlfriend ODs, and uh, he just takes off on a boat, and uh, he ends up crashing the boat into this bigger yacht, and then he knocks himself out in the process, and his boat just caroms away, and he ends up stranded in the ocean until he uh, finds an island. He gets off on the island, and... Uh, He's not alone. It turns out there is a, a man there named Antonio who has a son and daughter, a uh, son named Juan and a daughter named Haiti, H-A-Y-D-E-E, -E, who's played by Laura Gemser. Um, 
And uh, it turns out Antonio is there because he's a wanted man. He's been hiding there for years. I guess he took his son and daughter with him. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Laura Gemser, um, obviously an attractive lady. Daniel seems to like her. Well, Daniel's got some competition from her brother Juan. Juan and Haiti have been playing what they call this their game or something like that. Um, and basically they've been sleeping together. And I don't think they know any, I don't think they think anything's wrong with that, I guess. I don't know. They both seem educated to a certain degree, but whatever. I don't know how long they've been on this uh, Blue Lagoon Island, but it's been quite a while apparently. And they were never raised properly to uh, know what's going on there. Um, but yeah, they sleep together. Well, and suddenly Daniel is in there and suddenly Haiti likes Daniel instead. So they start sleeping around. And then Juan is jealous, of course, because, uh, he no longer has to, <laughs> gets to have sex with his sister. Um, so he gets jealous there. And then Antonio's like, you know, we can't have this guy going back to the mainland. Uh, he'll, if he talks about me, I could, you know, they could come and arrest me. I can't have that. So he wants Juan to kill Daniel. Um, and uh, Juan is like, okay to do that at first, but then he, he doesn't do it. Um, he uh, At one point, uh, but, but Juan is also upset that he's not being able to sleep with his sister anymore. Um, Daniel actually caught them like fooling around like that. He's like, what are you doing? That's your sister. You can't be doing that. But um, So anyway, uh, Antonio then comes and uh, gets into a struggle with uh, uh, Daniel. And he's going to shoot him with this like harpoon gun thing. And he's standing on the edge of a cliff and... He slips, he falls to his death, and then uh, it's just the three of them left. Uh, Juan, uh, you know, he, at this point, uh, Daniel's got a boat he's going to leave and go back to the mainland. Um, Haiti and uh, Juan come, and uh, Juan says, you know what, take Haiti with you, it's better for her, you know, that sort of thing. But Juan, I'm sorry, Daniel says, you know what, no, I don't think she'd be the same girl with me. She should stay here with you. So <laughs> that's how our movie ends. Juan gets, I'm sorry, Daniel gets on the boat. And uh, Juan and Haiti are going to stay behind uh, to continue their affair and have mutant babies. Who knows? That's our movie, Emmanuel on Taboo Island. So the taboo part, of course, was the uh, brother and sister incestuous relationship. Also, there was a scene um, where uh, Antonio beat up Daniel prior to telling Juan to kill him. But he beat him up and smashed his head against the rocks a couple times, knocked him out. And then um, his daughter, Haiti, comes up to him like and, and, and like hugs him. You know, and it looks like it looks like Dad was manipulating Laura Gemser's head near his crotchal region. I don't know what exactly was happening there, but maybe there was an incestuous stuff between Dad and daughter too. I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, it, it was a weird scene. Uh, I, I, I guess I can't really know for sure what was happening there, but it seemed to indicate that. But anyway, that is it. Emmanuel on Taboo Island. Now, this movie. Uh, when I was a, 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 a kid, this movie was on all the video store shelves in our area. Um, it seems like every store had this one. On DVD, it doesn't really have a lot of uh, quality DVDs out there. Uh, this one here, which was put out by something called DML, um, appears to be a VHS rip from the Paragon videotape. It even says Paragon at the beginning of it, which is crazy. There's a couple other DVD versions out there as well, but they also look very cheap, and I'm guessing this movie is kind of in the public domain. Who knows? But anyway, that is it. Emmanuel on Taboo Island. Um, Laura Gemser, through most of this film, is not wearing a shirt, so that's nice. Um, it's hard to even show scenes with her because she's always naked. Um, again, that's the highlight of the film, really. Um... So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, uh, it's available on multiple DVDs. I'm guessing it's inexpensive. I don't know. I'll check and I'll put a link to Amazon down below. Uh, there's been rumors that Severin's going to put out some sort of Laura Gemser box set perhaps later this year. Uh, maybe they'll include this one. I'd get it if it was because I have a nice, good copy of it. Who knows? But anyway, check it out. Emmanuel on Taboo Island. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye.